is Maria and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you how to make sopas. And sopas are um, like little tostadas that have ridges all around it so that it can kind of hold your food. And if you've seen the video on how to make corn tortillas or quesadillas, then you kind of have an idea already of how we're going to make this. So we're going to still use our masa corn flour that you can get at the grocery store. One cup of flour is about three-fourths cup of water to reconstitute it. And then you're going to mix it all up in a bowl. And that's what I've been doing with my hand. I've just been mixing it all up. And then you're going to get a pretty good size ball. And you're going to use your tortilla press. And you've got two different types of pans cooking right now, okay? So first I'm going to show you, you got your tortilla press lined with your plastic. You're going to put it on top and you're not going to press down too hard. You want your sopa to be thick. So you're going to press down lightly. And then there's your thick tortilla. And then you can see it's pretty thick. And now, just like your tortillas, you have a, a pan here, or a comal, that you can place your, your, torti your tortilla right now, your thick tortilla, on top of. And I've got one cooking right here, and it's pretty thick, and you don't want You don't want it to, to cook all the way through. You don't need to worry about that. You're gonna put about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. And then once it's cooked, you're gonna put it on top of a dish towel. And with that dish towel, you see how thick that is? With that dish towel, you are gonna use it to pinch all the sides of this tortilla. So I've got my hands on the other side of the dish towel and then I'm just using a thick dish towel to pinch it all through the edges. And that's what I'm doing. And you want it kind of thick because it's pretty hot so you don't want to burn your fingers but you want to get your your tortilla with its ridges and now it's a sope so this sope this is what it looks like you are going to put it in another pan that i have going here that i'm deep frying here's another one i made earlier and you can you can make several of these and then deep fry them at the same time if you want um, whatever you have in the pan and I make my tortilla. And the deep frying is what's gonna cook it all the way through. And you're gonna wanna do that. I've got my pan maybe a little too hot, I think you can tell. But um, you've got this pan that is not deep frying and it's just a lightly greased, so like a griddle that you can just cook your tortillas on. Then once you pinch them in your dishcloth, then you put them on this and then what you're going to do is when you're ready you've got a plate that has a paper towel and then you're going to put them on the paper towel to kind of you know cool off a little bit not for too long here it's frying i'm going to turn it over and turn it over and it cooks pretty fast once you have it cooked, and it's a little bit easier to handle once you have it kind of draining a little, then you've got some supplies that you're gonna put on there. So, one thing that's real important is you're gonna want some queso fresco. And that is like farmer's cheese. And you can get this at a, the Mexican 
grocery stores. You can also get this at um, the supermarket, regular supermarket. They have a section with Mexican cheese. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be this type of cheese, but the queso fresco is like a crumbly cheese. So anything that's crumbly, you would be actually really good for this. So I'm gonna grab my sofas because I think they are getting ready here. And this one I'm gonna put in here to drain. This one I'm gonna cook a little longer. I've got another one here that I'm cooking. And then here it is. Here's your sope that's fried. And then you're gonna place um, any kind of topping you want. You could like it, put some refried beans, put it on the bottom, and you can top it with some chicken. I'm putting some chicken on mine right here. And then you can uh, you can put some cilantro. I'm gonna chopped up some cilantro here because I really like cilantro. You can put some onions. I've got some onions right here that you can put on there. And I'm gonna put some green salsa right on top here. Now if you have lettuce, you can put some lettuce on there as well. You can make it high if you want. You can just keep building it up however you want. I'm gonna put the queso fresco on here. And I'm just gonna crumble it up. Ooh, maybe put a little too much, but that's okay. And then there's your sope. And then what's really important is your Mexican cream. You need your Mexican cream, or you can use sour cream. And the Mexican cream you can also get in the grocery store or a Mexican um, supermarket. But uh, it's like creme fraiche. So if you can find, if you can't find that, you can find creme fraiche, use that. And um, Mexican cream is just, makes it really special. If you have a little lime, you can squeeze some lime on that, some lime juice, and then it'll be really good too. So you can put anything in a sope. You can even make it for breakfast and do like uh, some scrambled eggs. That would be tasty. You have your scrambled eggs. You put that maybe with some refried beans on the bottom, scrambled eggs. Put your, your queso fresco. You put your sour cream, some onions, some salsa, cilantro if you want, whatever you want. And it is really good. It takes a little bit more effort than the quesadillas and tortillas, but it's really worth it. And your friends will love it if you make it for them, okay? Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoy your sopas. Okay.